Now the pace is good. The pace is very good. Excellent putt. It was the eighth. And Yamada heard cheers just a second or two ago. It came from the eighth. Both got it up on the top tier. Yeah, baby. And Matthew Wolf after the disappointing bogey at seven. Lights up the crowd at eight and moves to within one of Henley and the smile is right back on his face. Oh, that's the first really bad putt we've seen him hit. Twice and then off he goes. Yeah. Rock solid and a fist pump. I love it. And DeChambeau short of the green here and the flag on the front. Just awkward enough here. And that's pretty good. We have an uphill curly whirly right to left or there. All pars the lone bogey at the eighth. Still just three back and he is in position to get it back. Uh, that's one of the best shots we've seen this afternoon. Hughes, a low draw to this front left hole location, oh. and that is the way you draw it up. Fantastic. Who's Tazen for a birdie? Out of position the whole way. Was actually pretty lucky to have a good look like that for a four. Gary just uh, missed the fairway, missed the. Layup shot in the rough and uh, DeChambeau. This for birdie. Get up! Get up! Yeah. Oh, wow, man. All right, he's been threatening. Hasn't made one all day. And Rob is even bigger into the mix here. Yeah, this will be a shot put. Watch that left foot. He's got room right. He tends to bail right here on 14. There's nothing over there to give him a whole lot of trouble, but holy mackerel. Split the Red Sea right there. That might be a new world record. This pin is very on you know, a tiny deck over on the left. That's a three so even just 94. 330 yards yeah, it's just... drive. It's the longest of the day, and the fairway comes up a little short. You have to be careful here if you carry it way to the hole and go right of it. You could go off the back of the green. Yeah, smart shot. Played left of the hole a little bit. Got it on the proper level. Well done. And Rom for birdie. Trying to make it two in a row. On this tough stretch of holes. And a tap in for John Rom. He'll stay at three under. Even on the day, just a couple back. For a birdie, this is a chance to uh, open up a two-shot lead. Going to break right. Oh, yes, it will. So Russell Henley with uh, several good putts. As we saw in the previous hole, has a tendency to catch these heavy. Oh, yeah. Pretty dandy effort there. Yes, it was. Wolf battling to save par. Hear how thick it was. Yeah, that was a nasty line. That hole's cut up on a little high spot. Wow, Bryson, after that incredible tee shot, struggling for par here. He has not made a bogey yet today. That's still rolling back. Just laid the sod over that sandwich from 94 yards. Shambo coming back up for par, trying to avoid his first bogey of the day, and he does a par save for DeChambeau. Wow, what a gutsy putt that was. And finding that thick rough around the green is going to cost him. And Louis drops one to fall back two under. He's had two bogeys in the last four holes. Eagle is McElroy. Field is 127 under par on the hole this week. And a beautiful effort by Rory 
It's going to be a tap in birdie for him. First 25 major starts, which is unbelievable. And there is uh, his baby. Just a yard under 200. And just playing a swooping draw in there, homing in. That's a glorious shot from Justin Thomas. Magnificent. For Wolf trying to save his par. Beautiful save. The wolf remains in the pack at three under. Well, I want to dig it. another chance for DeChambeau to let it out here at 15. Oh, oh, how about this? Oh, he had a little shoulder chip in there. Had a long drive contest to get here like we saw at Bay Hill. He's feeding off the fans. His 521-yard par four. It's another Bryson blast. The third at the 10th for Henley. By the way, Rory began the day tied for 21st. He's now in a tie for third. This Bland comes out from behind the green here at the 10th. Beautiful touch here. Yeah, that's quite a save. That could have been bad. Still got nearly 180 left. But there's a guy by the name of uh, Wilco Nina. Who's leading the field in driving distance? And so DeChambeau did not have the longest drive of the day here at 15 as that backs up a little bit. Lee Nabber, though, shot 80 today to Bryson's three under. So for Bryson, over at the 10th, Henley for par. It's be a nice little way to save it. Blazing fast. Mm. So Henley continues his up and down yep. U.S. Open third round. And that's how they go a lot. Hang in there. Ride the waves. You know you're going to get the down. This is their honeymoon. <laughs> Scheffler over 13. Yeah. No mistake there. Don the hill. Thomas is second. He's got to sit just a hair just right of it. On that one a little bit. That's going to be a difficult putt. They're working from the bunker at 11. If he plays it, oh, I don't see him getting it close. No, he it's, tried to go for the backstop and he bladed it. Didn't oh, sound good, Raj. That's a shame, Roger. That would have been the only chance if he could have gone up to the left there. There's your U.S. Open highlight of the day so far. You got to know where to miss it at a U.S. Open. Well, you can two putt this one, Raj. It'll be a miracle. It will, because once it crests the hill, about a little over 20 feet short of the hole, it'll go left and gain speed. Oh, well, you just can't do it any better than this as far as speed. You can't do any better now. That is. I would have bet money he couldn't have left that short at all. Wow, the crowd loves it. They've seen a few players up there with no hope at all in uh, Richard Bland. You might have heard a roar just a second ago, and it came from the back edge. Iguala of 13. Mackenzie Hughes. Roars into solo second. Very quick. Will move hard to the right. Yep. That away. He's been just about perfect. I don't know if there's ever such a From thing as a good bogey. That was one of them. Good 
Stanford. Oh, that's at least the another one. fourth or fifth one right on line from a pretty long ways away, Dave. See if he can control it. He's chasing after it. Easy. Uh, yep, good call there, Paul. That baby came out. Watching that anxiously. Is that headed a little left? Oh, it is. Oh, oh. But he hits it past the fiddle. What <laughs> did we just see? And the third for Morikawa at this par five. Break out some serious skills to get this close. Oh, yes. That's some serious skill. Oh, that was incredible. And the PGA champion from up the coast. I mean, straight downhill to the yeah. hole, correct? Yeah. Shot. Really, that's very good. And it's still going to chase out. Even got a little check on it from the green. Still gone by about eight feet. It's doable, though. Yep. And he looks like he will save it. We'll see, but. But from this position, tendency's been to miss the left. But not that one. Yeah. Wow. Solitary. Yes, he is. And I love the routine, Paul. He just yeah. doesn't take that much time. Reminds me of Snedeker a little yeah. bit. Matthew Wolf down the hill back towards the front of the green here. Needs to be careful. Oh, he's played a beauty. What a touch from there. And Morikawa, that PGA champion from Harding Park. He won that PGA Championship in just a second career major. Trying to stay in the mix for another Sunday at this major championship. And a ticklish one for Oosthuizen. This for Birdie. Yes. That's a great two putt after leaving himself. Okay. Both Oosthuizen and Wolf. 30 to par 5, 13. A big shot for John. It got the feeling that Adam talked him into laying that one up here. 100 yards back left hole. Got to control the spin here. See if you can get it on that back patio where the flag is. Fourteen. Just earlier, Rom for par. He's only made one bogey all day. He's still not in. For a second. You know how important it is. There's a sense of urgency. You just desperately want to make it. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. He's got to be careful with the one for double as well. It came five years ago. Now Rom for double at the 14th. And that is big time costly. This hole is all the way in the back of the green. No rule that says you have to try to get it whole high. What a shot by Mackenzie Hughes now, 30 years old. Will it stay? Oh, it's going to drift away. That's a shame. It was a good shot, though. Uh, once he decided to lay up, he just kind of got in there and swatted at it. No, Brooks, hey! God, I'm not sure this is oh, past the Hey, John. Hey. Hughes for birdie at 15. This will go a long way. Oh, Par's a solid score there at 15 for the Canadian, and uh, I guess we're going to get some TVs tuning in tomorrow if he keeps this up. It's been a tough north time of the, yeah, north, north of the border. I uh, just started playing golf there recently. It's been tough times up north, and so Mackenzie Hughes in this unusual position in a major. This is his fourth. He needs to get clutch right here. Just got to bow up. Don't drop more than one. It looks like he's going to do exactly that. Yep. Good shot. Bland's putt from behind the hole is breaking right, so it actually kind of bottoms out and slows up a little bit around the cup. Oh, yeah. Just slows up enough to keep it out. Both Bland and Hanley missed. An inch short. 
both McFarland. Shambo, the only player without a bogey today. A guy that just gets out there and busts it down there. That was the big conversation coming in here, Zing. Is he going to be able to get away with the same things he did at Wingfoot last year? And this stick to clear you up? The answer so far is it's working out. Xander Shoffley to play his second. Just over 100 yards. X Man, two over on his round yeah, today. Disappointing day so far. But, well, here we go. Make that one and uh, maybe birdie 18, get him at two under. 132 lies good. Contact was good. Good result. Yep, I think he'd be very happy with that. As he began the day tied for the 36 hole lead with Henley. 17. Scotty Scheffler trying to get to two under. He's been playing great all week long. Oh boy. Man who finished third last week at Memorial, just missing the playoff. Back at 17, Shoffley for his three. Okay. Yeah, the crowd loves it. The local guy. He's at one under as he moves to the par 5 18. Yeah, there wasn't much going on that scorecard early on. And Henley coming up the hill. Wasting no time. Oh, is he going to make another one? Oh, oh, goodness. What a nice effort. That's a good solid par from the fairway bunker. His history, he gets hot. You know, when he when he won in the past, he said he wasn't playing as consistently as he has the last year. He says he's most proud of his game, even though he hasn't won because it's been most consistent. Up to the green for Matthew Wolf with his third. What a touch. And that's what we saw from Wolf. And the third for Ustase, and again working from that thick green side rough, and this time pulls it off beautifully. He's going to save it, remain at two under, and avoid back to back bogeys. Just a sandwich in hand now from 118. If he wants, he can go a little bit long and right and use some spin. Well, he knew it. Must have missed hit it just a touch. He said go. It's okay. He is looking increasingly comfortable out here as this round goes on. Well, he has made a number of lengthy putts this week. Scheffler needs to call on his wedges right now. And tomorrow he wants to win. Yeah. Easy. That away. <laughs> From this bunker. Bunker shot, getting it to roll out. Well, he couldn't have done a whole lot better without bringing that ball rough into play left of the flag. Pretty good look here at Saban Bar. He just steps up, pops it. Ooh. It's amazing when you look at Henley's card. You know, for every birdie he makes, he to join the tie for third. Curl on this one. Beautiful. Beautifully done right in the center. And Matthew Wolf also at minus three along with Oosthuizen. Back at 16, Oosthuizen for birdie. Oh. Well, finally. Just keep your eye on this man. Just hazing. No, just two back. Boy, taking it the left edge of the green, but now hooking towards the sand. That bunker, Mike? That's a cross. He's, He's got, got a good chance. Line. He's got a good line, a slight up slope. Call him more cow and hit a.
Good looking swing there from yeah. Russ Hendley. Yeah. Yes, sir, right there in the center of the green. That's exactly what he was looking for. Here's the bunker shot for Hughes at 18. He's going to have to hit it perfectly. It's close to perfect. Very nice shot. Up to 18. And this was Streelman a moment ago for Eagle. Playing alongside Hughes. You could go to the refrigerator and make a sandwich before this reaches the cup. Well, he almost feasted on an eagle. What a fine effort. He kept it together. Streelman did. He's like, come on, give me the eagle here. Ooh, well, take a birdie. He had that rough stretch. He made 11 straight pars, then he bogeyed 12, 13, 14, got himself together, birdied 16, another birdie at 18, and he gets in at one under. It's a pressure putt. He handled it, no problem. Canada has never won a United States Open title on Mackenzie Hughes. See what he's got coming up. Who's Tazen's birdie put on the way at 17? Uh, wandered away right, right at the start. Makes those so difficult. You have to hit them so easily. And he's got another chance at Eagle here at the U.S. Open. Pretty good too. It really was. And the more than pretty good. That's a uh, critical two putt. That'll get him to two under par. Incredible shot from there, Gary. Under the circumstances, he knows he's got a lead. So many people who tested positive had to pull out of the memorial with a six shot lead. And he was in the quarantine. He wasn't there when his parents met his son. He hadn't seen his parents for a year and a half. Out here with you, especially your mom and dad, they love to watch you play in person. They will not be able to be here tomorrow. They'll watch it at home in Canada. What are your thoughts as you think of that? Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's disappointing not to have them out here. I know my mom uh, and family are, are second for Wolf. And that little move before he sends it. Yeah, holding a drawback up into this wind, headed at the center of the green should be enough. It is so uh, Ustays and. In. Wolf safely across just to cap off Steve's interview with Hughes. Look at the hole, pull the trigger. Get in there, the left. Very gingerly hit. But understandably. Absolutely. So easy to race it three or four feet by. Yeah, he's swinging that club like he's at home, Gary. Like he didn't even know he's in the U.S. Open. Foot or so on the green. Came out kind of soft. Wow. This might just end up okay. It's got to go. Yeah, that really fluffed out of there. Uh, Noda, I don't think he liked his lot. He's won a major and has now finished five times a runner up, including. At that PGA Championship, this from 52 feet. A great way to end it. Louis Ustazen. We saw Hughes eagle the 13th earlier, which Tiger did in 2008, and Louis Ustazen with a little ode to history with the first. Eagle of the day today.
just like Tiger did on that Saturday late in a way. This was a moment ago. How many fairway bunkers has he been in today? Yeah, quite a few. He's going to lay that up. And Wolf will go into tomorrow at two under. And that is a victory in its own right with the journey that he has made to get his head right and his mental health. Good contact going up the right. Well, might need to get to the left here. Oh, no. Oh. Does that look a little bit like Tigers? I mean, he freaked him up, but it's like, remember that shot he made? Come on, get up, get up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. This came out in that one. This looks like it's gonna go in the right bunker. Wow. And there's seven of 18 greens in regulation today. It's just not gonna get it done. And he hit a ton of fairways as well. Oh, that's a fine shot. Grabs and then trickle over that hill. He's landed just short of it. He's carrying a little more speed than he wanted, but all in all, not a bad shot. It's going to be for par. Let's go, Russ. Yeah, get in there, the church. Left. Very gingerly hit. But understandably. <laughs> Absolutely. So easy to race it three or four feet by. Yeah, he's swinging that club like he's at home, Gary. Like he didn't even know he's in the U.S. Open. And, uh, but he does know. Still, though, regardless of what happened today and whatever happens tomorrow, it's been one heck of a coming out party in this U.S. Open for Bland. It's just been a sensational.